I'm about to put the tent out. So, Ozark Trail has some good stuff. Out of all the tents I've ever had, this is one of the biggest tents you could get with the ease of putting it up. And I love it. So it's basically like, especially when there's two of us, it's like having a mansion as a tent, but it doesn't take two, two or three people to put it up. It's very easy. Watch and see. There's no extra parts. It's literally the rain gear, which is right there. The door separators, I mean room separators, which is right there. More room separators and your pegs. That's it. All right, let's make sure. One, two, three. How long have we had this tent now? Uh, Through two years. Ooh, it's dirty. It was our first time using it when we camped at um, Hannah Park in Jacksonville? I'm not sure. I think it is. So this is not a brand new tent. Um, I that, so. Wow. I don't even know how long it's been. I should have I should have timed you on my watch. So. You can put a time on the video. I'll put a time on the video. So it is three rooms, including the front room. Let's see the inside. Uh, I don't know where it's at. You don't know where it's at? What is this uh, right no. So there's doors going out on of every, every side. Oh room but this is the front this is the main front so if you look you have wow three. You left it a mess you have you put a divider here that'll be a room put a divider here that'll be a room put a divider here that'll be a room what's cool about this is each one of these squares or rooms fits a full size queen queen size air mattress so We'll show you when our air mattress this is it. blown up, what it um, looks like. Is that simple? Yeah, it's Ooh. really cool. Really cool uh, different things. It even has a spot for an AC unit um, right here and right here in each room. has a oh. spot for an AC unit. Look at all that. Basically, if you see right there, you could pop a on the ground AC unit. Yeah, we'll have to sweep. Um, Looks like we had some lucky charms. We didn't bring the dustpan, did we? Yeah, we did. Okay. It wasn't checked. All right. I want to spin it around. So. Taking up that whole square with the table right in the middle. Just kidding. Gonna put the mattress here. That's our table and our uh, connection area. Make a charger station and then a dustpan and a broom is perfect. Um, so no matter how much you think you clean, the next time you come to camp, it's good to have. You always wanna take care of your things because, I don't know, that's just what, what God calls us to do. Take care of take care of what we do have. So, sweeping up, cleaning up before you 
uh, pack up to leave is something that we've always done. Um, besides our vehicles with kids. But I was in a hurry, so. Got the air mattress. Another thing we also bring when we go camping, which not a lot of people think about, is the morning dew and leaving things on tables. Well, we can leave our cooker and any utensils or anything like that that we have. Obviously, no uh, open food items um, because of animals, but we can leave things on the table because we bring a 10 by 10 tent canopy and we pop that over our table so that at nighttime, I bring it down um, and it'll sit probably like right here and it'll keep all the morning dew and all that stuff off of the things we put on the table. Also, firewood. Either keep your firewood in a closed bed of your truck or put your firewood on one edge of a picnic table. It'll keep the morning dew off of that also, or if it rains. But not all campgrounds have fire rings that are this nice, but this fire ring comes with a grill top, which is sweet. So you build your fire, and then when you want to cook on the grill, you just slide your coals underneath the uh, grill plate, and it adjusts. You have to do both sides, but it'll adjust up and down and it'll prevent you from having to dirty up your pans that you bring. Anyways, keep getting unpacked. I've also learned with doing a lot of events with Bearded Outdoors how to do most of this stuff on your own. Once you learn how to do that, you can do that without um, needing two people. So Amber can be doing things as I'm doing things because. What's the goal of all this? When you get somewhere and set up, you want to get set up as fast as possible so you can go explore. So, popping this up and I'm going to show you if I can do it quick. Pop, 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 pop. Pop it up. One click. Two clicks, three clicks, four clicks, and then you do that and you slide it over your table. Right, babe? Is that how it's done? What she got? She found some goodies. We could burn. This is yellow. The things that aren't plastic. <laughs> there must be a root there. A root. The root is on fire. Welcome to Carbon TV Cribs. Brought to you by the Richards. So you can find cribs or carbon? Oh, so you can find cribs on Carbon TV. Anyways. This is the mansion for the next two nights. Very cozy, breezy, easy peasy. Uh, normally we'd put an outdoor carpet from here to the table just yeah. makes it a little more comfortable uh, especially when you have kids kids running in and out with their shoes on instead of having to always let them know not to take their shoes off or to take their shoes off moral of the story is if you've ever camped in a tent having shoes in a tent getting dirt in the tent it's a pain in the butt so we just try and eliminate that so it makes it more cozy um, I want to add some String, uh, string lights oh. to our camping list because we have these little rings and yeah. we have these little pieces and to just Did put some string light lights in here we'll always keep the string lights on yeah um, plugged into our electric source and uh, you'll always have lights so you're not squirreling around for light but 
we always realized we needed a table, especially during hunting season. Um, okay, another thing, stop, pause. Before you put a tent down, it is very important, if you want your tent to last, to go around the area that your tent is gonna sit on. A perimeter. And either put a tarp down before, or make sure there are no hard rocks, or these things that we find in South Florida. We're probably all over them right now. They're all over. We're, we're basically, I just felt some under my feet, there, but I wanted yeah. to show you. These, see how thick they are? Very hard, and they're pointy. That goes under your tent, and it, uh, it'll put holes in your tent. So, always make sure that, so there's a spot right here in the middle. Oh, so we failed. We didn't fail, but you see it's right here. Yep. So you step on that Don't for three, in. four, five days in a row, it'll start putting a hole in your tent. So anyways. We have to decorate a little this bit. This is it. We're gonna throw, bring our blankets. We literally take the blankets off of our bed, our pillows off our bed and throw it in the car. Need uh, to wash anyway. They need washed anyway. So yeah, we, it, it usually works out. Open the windows when you get in your tent. Make sure you always keep your door closed when you walk out of your tent so that when you go in at night, Unlike especially that. in Florida, in warm weather, mosquitoes, gnats, all that. Pythons. Iguanas. Pythons here, iguanas. So you want to eliminate <laughs> anything coming in your tent so you can walk in and out. Just get used to doing those things and you'll have materials that last. Like, subscribe if you're on YouTube. That stuff is awesome. You know why? Because it allows us to go and explore these other places. Gives us a little bit of gas money. Eventually, we're not monetized yet, but eventually it'll get to a point where we could do that stuff. But if you want to purchase this tent, we have a link in the description. The link in the description is an affiliate link. That affiliate link, if you use that link, will give us a little commission for you guys purchasing this tent through that link. And we appreciate it. Look at all them gnats. I think they're smaller than the holes. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's go seek and find. Now you want to buy this tent. It's just an 
air that pushes the parts out. This is the key. That extra zipper zipped up so you get it in the bag. And then make it smaller. You don't have to, you can leave it open. We have a small car, or SUV, so. Um, the hardest part about this zipper is that material likes to get caught in it. But, other than that, for a Walmart, I think it was 189, something like that. I'll check, it's been a couple really years. Really good material, so. But we'll check and we'll let y'all know, but it's, uh, boom.